just right today I'm going to teach you how to play Stand By Me by Oasis probably one of my favourite Oasis tracks I would say yes so ever since I heard it probably I think 1904 yeah I heard it on MTV it was sitting out back in the garden just playing it acoustically and I thought oh wow I want to learn to play guitar like those guys. Um, unfortunately, it took me what year is it now? <laughs> it took me about another 14 years before I actually picked the guitar up. But there you go. Anyway, so the song itself, chords aren't too bad. Some tricky ones in there. So, and the strumming pattern itself is can be a bit complicated as well for a beginner. But you know. You've got to uh, speculate to accumulate, haven't you? So, why not give it a go, even if you think it's a bit out of your depth? You know, practice, practice, makes perfect. Okay? So, we're going to start off with a G chord. Alright? Pretty simple, nice little open G chord to start with, because the song is in the key of G. Okay? Made a meal. See? So. And then from the G chord you're going to go to a B7. Okay, I told you it gets a bit tricky. Okay, I'm going to try and tell you how these. I don't normally teach the chords, but I'll see if I can have a go. Okay, so your first finger goes on the fourth string up, the D string first fret. Okay, your second finger goes on the fifth string up, second fret. Your third finger goes on the third string up, second fret, and your third little pinky goes on the bottom string on the second fret. Okay? Again, if that's a bit complicated, just go and um, find a book. Yes, or oh, have a look on the internet, and you will learn how to play it. Okay? It's quite difficult, it's one of those chords, even though I get it wrong sometimes, you'll probably hear. Now, while I'm playing it, I'll probably, probably miss it. You, a lot of the time, I end up getting his first finger on the wrong string. But, you know, with practice, yeah, yeah, you'll improve. Okay, then, so... That's our second chord. Lovely sounding chord. It's probably one of my favourite chords, to be honest. I'm going to go with all the seventh chords. So I've just got this lovely, lovely sound to my Anyway, okay, so G... B7 to a C and this is again this is a tricky one but actually it's not too bad okay you go from a C to a C stroke B which basically means take your top finger off your B chord your third finger get rid of that okay and then your second finger move it up one string to the A string the fifth one up okay Okay, so it should sound a bit like this. Okay. And then you move after that, you go down to a D. So it sounds a bit like this. C, C stroke B to a D. C, C stroke B to a D. Do, 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 do. So I better tell you the strumming pattern first, am I? You're not going to be playing along, able to play along with me without the strumming pattern, are you? Okay, I'll tell you the whole strumming pattern in full here, and you're going to go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay? Let's see if I can break it down a bit, okay? So we'll use the G chord to kind of, as an example. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay, maybe do it without the chords. Without the chords, just hold the string. Okay, mute the strings. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. No, oh, some kids, I'm saying wrong. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. 
down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay. Whatever I was saying at the start, forget it because I think I was saying the wrong chords. But I've got I've got the strumming pattern written below. Okay. So if you don't believe a word I'm saying, you just read what I've written below. All right. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And you just got to keep that constant rhythm going. You know, keep it going, man. And then just get it. And then once you've got the rhythm going, you just knock it, start hitting the strings. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. I think you want to just keep practicing that string pattern until you get the hang of it. And once you have, and you and you start bringing it together with your chords, you're gonna go, wow. I can play some more whistles. <laughs> okay. Down, 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 is a C. So what's the matter with you? To a D. Do, 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 do. And this is where you get these uh, uh, chords you might not be familiar with. So G. Sing. And then with your G, what you do is you take your two top fingers off, get rid of them, and pop. Then then pop your first finger there on two. Your top E, you, you fit your top string, E string, the second fret. So you go from a G, sing me something. And what you do when you play that chord, you try and just emphasize that bass note, okay? Okay, like this. Sing me something. And then go to an E minor. No. So it sounds like this. Sing me something. Sharp to I forgot, yeah, I forgot to tell you what that chord was called actually. So you got a G, and that chord where you put your finger, your top finger on that second fret is called a G straight F sharp, and that's because that is making an F sharp note, okay? Sing me something new, don't you know A7 to a C? Don't you know a seven to a C and a D? Okay, a seven. Don't you know they only seem to see and a D? Do a few little flicks there when you do. And then we go into the chorus. And the chorus is. The chorus goes, starts with a G. Stand by me to a D. Nobody knows A minor the way it's gonna see. F. So, the way it's going to be C and an F and a D. Okay? So it goes like this. Stand a G and a D and an A minor and it's going to a C and an F and a D. G and a D. Go to A minor and then to a C and an F and a D. Okay? Repeat 
played that a couple of times as you're singing along. I'm sure you'll know when you get to the end because you'll realise you've run out of lyrics. Okay, excuse me a minute. Right. And then the last bit of that chorus actually, because you've got a bit where nobody knows, nobody knows. Okay, the last bit of the chorus is Stand by me. Nobody knows, yeah, nobody knows, see, the way it's going to be, G, okay, so it's like this, G, E, and a D, E, nobody a minor, the way it's going to be, the way, see, the way it's going to be. sound right but I've got the chords are correct anyway okay so I think that is about it really okay again use that same chord, um, string pattern throughout the song it's a few little licks that you might want to change once you've got a hang of it but that's that'll do you basically okay and I will see you next time for the next installment <laughs>